Let's talk about the first part of the match and then we'll talk about the pause. The pause. <laughs> the great pause of 2019. After the shot game, we definitely felt like that we got outclassed and we definitely didn't play up to our own standards, our own potential. I think you could tell that the loss streak was kind of getting to the players, just kind of getting everybody, because um, you know we felt like we aren't performing up to our own standard, and that kind of pressure, you know, definitely impacts people, and you can see it taking its toll. And so going into this week, like we we felt like we should be able to put something together. Um, you know, we, even, even though like we're in a rut, even though we're not doing well, we still want to make sure that we were, you know, definitely motivated and wanted to do our best to try and, you know, give our all. On match day uh, versus Spark, you know, I think everyone came in, you know, ready to give it their all. We knew that um, this match, even though they weren't doing too well, at this point, we have to treat every team like really seriously. And so we wanted to do as best we can this match. I think everyone was really motivated to try to keep our playoff hopes alive. Uh, so we really wanted to you know, go in there and make something happen. It's a very quick match, a whole lot of playoff implications we'll go through as we round out week four of stage four, how time has flown this year. So let's go ahead and welcome to the stage, the Dallas View. Three, two, one, and let's get it! <laughs> himself, and they are gonna go on the offensive here, Dallas Fuel. With Unko leading the charge, they've got the Coalescence beaming through, damage and heal in the combo, and Zachary even throws in the Blizzard. No hesitation on the part of the Fuel here. There's Godsby trying to make the play, trying to counter the Blizzard with the Mirage, but it's just too much here for the Dallas Fuel. The Blizzard came in and opened it up for him, and now it's the tank line that actually deals with the Fair Mercy in the sky. This is where McQueen is nice. uh, stretch in these off number situations. The Dallas Fuel end up taking the first point of Lijon Tower. But now it's about winning it. It's about ending this fight. Unko working with God's V, and there it is. Dallas Fuel looking like they're going to pick up the first map of this series. No contest. Not going to happen. Hey, Dallas Fuel taking the lead over the Hongzhou Spark. Not even going to have much of a say. Just rolling through the minefields. One step ahead. Gu Shui was ready for him, and that is the Hongzhou Spark tying it up. Taking the second map of the series. So, two kills coming in here for AKM and Zachary. They're doing their work here on the side of Dallas. Blizzard might ruin their day, though, along with the dragon. That's a T-Mech, that's Zachary dead. Uncle gone, and it's a total bloodbath. The Hangzhou Spark is gonna hold the ease on the Blizzard world with heads, and this is setting it up here for Dallas Fuel. The push, they will succeed. By the looks of things, Gushue eliminated. Now it's God's B once again. I didn't even get to see that. Now you get to see a time. <laughs> and the Hangzhou Spark. In the end, the Dallas will put up a fight. We win a second round, but they will be collecting this series win. Three to one over the Dallas Fuel. Overall, I think the match was still very similar to our previous performances this stage. I think we had you know, a pretty solid Koth round. Um, but on the other maps, we couldn't quite close it out. This match in particular was a lot like a few of the other ones we've had where it was a 3-1. If we cleaned up some mistakes and, and were on the same page with some of our shot calls, I think it could have easily been a 3-1 in our favor. The ending of that Spark match definitely had us kind of devastated because that was our last like major chance at keeping our playoff hopes alive. Technically, there is still, you know, a small, tiny chance that it could happen. But I think, you know, everyone kind of knew, like, you know, this was the last straw for our playoff hopes. Um, obviously, this means that playoffs run has pretty much come to a close. Um, so we're just going to focus on finishing out the season, all right? Um, so even though, uh, even though we can't go into play-ins, we are still going to show up with good mentality and try to finish out uh, the stage with a couple wins, okay? I know um, everybody still wants to win, so we're just gonna keep grinding and keep focusing, all right? So we were all pretty frustrated at ourselves that you know we couldn't quite piece it together there. Um, but overall, you know, we just got rallied together and decided like, you know, hey, let's just focus on the next one. You know, we only have two more matches after this this spark match, so even though it feels bad and it, it, it kinda sucks that we're in the position we're in, like let's, you know, let's still uh, finish out the season as strong as we can. Let's go ahead and bring out the underdogs in this story, ladies and gentlemen. 
please welcome the Dallas Fuel. Some minor shot on the shoe. Now Char gonna be eliminated. No supports here. Dallas Fuel looking good at the start. Will be able to hold control at this point. There's not a whole lot you can do to stick to the point here anymore. Zips around the inside of the point. Finish him off, tag it from Happy. There was like a rod the Nice, let's Real go, boys. Let's time. go, dude. <laughs> the, I wish you would see that fucking shot on the Mercy. I shot him I shot him through those fucking checkers. He was above me, I shot him through it. Oh my. Everybody gonna be gone. Nope, just now respawning. Gonna be trying to make it back over to the point, but I don't know if he's gonna be able to make it in time. Hot is playing up into the front. Whole hog already down. Just gets the hook in, the hold there as well. They zone them off the point, and that is the Guangzhou charge taking map one. Get the kills, that's the effective wipe here onto the Dallas Fuels. They try to get back over onto the point. Already AKM down to about half HP. They try to roll in, but another sleep dart. Great Sochi as he reaches the gate. The Guangzhou charge will move up 2-0 here in the first half. Gonna have to use it. Closer here on the low ground. Uses an immortality field, doesn't stand a chance. Happy manages to find the kill. The Wrecking Ball has come back in for OG. He pops the adaptive shield. So much damage from the charge. They will be able to hold him off. Just slapping down every ult that they got in the bank. This is a celebration. They go ahead and close out Hollywood taking. 3-0 lead now. What? Speaking of surprising people, we do have a substitution for the Dallas Fuel, and it's Mickey! Taken to the stage, gonna be summing in for Nope. Here's set up, Supercharger around the corner, but already OG gonna be taken down. Zachary playing up onto the guard. Sleep Dart hits from Shu. Sets up for the kill for Hanfa. Happy continues to take pot shots here from the side, but that will be in the finish. Three minutes even on the dot. And shots that connect are headshots. Describe what that means. Oh. Seems like we do have a, a bit of an issue on the side of the Dallas Fuel. The tactical pause. The great pause of 2019. We were in the middle of pressing uh, the first point. We were running a little low on time. We had about a minute or so left at the time. And we're at a point where we have our ultimates. We know that they have ultimates and, and it's one of like with the big pushes that's gonna determine whether or not we cap the first point. Wait, Jody, I can't shoot he's still anymore. still there, he's still there. Wait, I cannot shoot anymore. You have to Unko says, like, hey, my, I can't shoot, my character's not working. And so he calls for a pause, which is natural. How is this happening? How are we having issues with the mouse? And if the mouse is working. Naturally, Blizzard went through the troubleshooting. Um, I think a lot of people just assumed it was the mouse, which it wasn't a mouse issue, it was an in-game bug. Anybody else bored? After doing all that first level troubleshooting, they couldn't fix the issue. Blizzard approached us and basically said, you know, hey, we have this software that we, you know, have for emergencies to kind of reload the match, the game state to where it is. It was only, you know, expected only to take a couple minutes to uh, reload everything and get back to it. All right, we're, we're in game. It has been ruled that we will be restarting the attack for the Dallas Fuel. And Unko's mouse is working. You know, experiment going on. <laughs> Oh my safety God. And, uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, there was some other bugs that were caused because of this reload. Blizzard decided just to do a full manual reset. The the refs definitely just wanted it to be a fair a fair end of the game, and so even though it took a while, we kind of got as close as we could to a fair outcome. Five, four, three, two, Seven. Oh, wait. one. Oh, I kill you. Gonna be able to survive in time to find the shot. The hand taking him down. Hop up. Gonna be frozen. Still has that whole hog, but Mickey using one of his own. Nero nearly safe behind that wall, but still will get taken down as Uncle gets his life saved by that immortality field. They can hold me back in. That's gonna be a dash over onto the card, but Happy will get taken down. Char barely managing to tag in, but he gets hooked, gets eliminated in the Dallas Fuel. And oh, it's actually been a must saw a flank coming through from Zachary. Or at least a boost up, but it seems like it's just gonna be the kills coming in. Unko tries to get the kill, actually manages to make it happen. But he's got no HP, he can't tag in. GG. Oh, yeah, he's on. Nice try. That night was pretty taxing on everyone um, because it's not easy to deal with that kind of pressure, um, especially when you feel like you know you're causing all of this to be delayed. Um, so you know you could tell that everyone was pretty pretty frustrated and down about it. You know everyone is still on the same page where we don't want to be 0 and 7, and we know that Atlanta's doing really well right now, so we really have to buckle down um, and and work really hard to be able to take the next match, um, even though you know the Standings don't matter too much um, for you know this season. It's still something that we want to accomplish for ourselves. 
Um, so we're going to be working really hard to try and make that happen and, uh, and to try to make the fans proud. <laughs>